In this tutorial, we are going to create a blank pivot table. So to do so, again, click in your data range, which is not in the table or grouped in any way, or it doesn't have subtotals applied to it. All right, so you would click in it and then go to insert, and you can go to here, insert pivot table. Okay, and here you can choose the range. now. Here, it's already automatically sort of guessed what range you want. Okay, so if this is in the range that you want, you can select a different range, okay? Or you can use an external data source if it's from an external source where you're drawing this data from, okay? And you can also choose where you want the report to be placed. You can place it in a new worksheet, which is what we're gonna do, or place it in an existing one. Okay, so let's leave it as that and go okay. And now we have sheet five. Okay, and of course you want to name it, rename it to something that is descriptive, okay. So I clicked outside of that panel that just showed up on the right. So when I click on my pivot table again, anywhere on it, the pivot table fields panel shows up, okay? So over here, I can choose what fields I would like to add to the report. So I can choose discipline, and I can also choose maybe total book sales. And there we go, and that shows me the discipline and book sales, each of these as a column or a field, okay? And you can also drag what you want into the column. So if I want it, um, let's say unit price wholesale, I can drag it into the columns. Okay, if I don't want it, I can click on this and go remove field. Okay. I can go to sales retail here. Again, if I don't want it, I can go remove. Okay. I can also add another row. So if I also wanted area, I can click and drag here. Okay. If I wanted to add copyright in the columns, I can go here and add copyright. Um, if I wanted to change the orders, I can click and drag it up and down as well. 